And now, CBS 21 News First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Russell. All right, well, happy Friday, happy weekend, first weekend in October, and I wanted to get outside and enjoy, right? So we are at the John Wright Restaurant in Wrightsville, so you know why we're here to stamp out cancer. It's the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's Light the Night Walk. So we're going to get this stage lit up in a little bit, you know, when it gets dark. But you can see we're right on the river. But other than that, it's a big festival. We got stuff for the kids to do. We got stuff for everybody to come and hang out. And of course, if you're in the walk, you get a t-shirt, you get all set up. So let's catch up with my friend Tara from the Leukemia and Lymphoma yeah. Society. It's great to see you again. Good to see you, Tom. Just what, two weeks ago we were walking in Harrisburg, right? <laughs> yes, that was just two weeks ago. You got it, yep. So we lit up the night in Harrisburg and now we do it for Lancaster and York and what an amazing venue. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The weather's perfect. I mean, it is just a great night to light the night. All right, so we're here to remember folks who have battled cancer, folks we've lost to cancer. What's it really all about today? Absolutely, yeah. We're here to, at Light the Night to bring light to the darkness of cancer. That's what it's all about. Um, we're here to fund cures, fund research, get us closer to cures. Um, and we, you know, we're showing that. We're showing what we're doing, you know. Just, um, you know, last year alone there were eight new therapies approved wow. by the FDA to treat blood cancer and LLS funded 15 of those. That's awesome. So it's so amazing. Yeah. At CBS 21, we're proud to be part of, uh, of what you guys are doing in the mission tonight, but we're also going to have a lot of fun. There's a lot of teams here. There's a lot of Absolutely. kids here. So, all right. So we're going to wait till it just gets dark enough and then we uh, light the night tonight. Absolutely. Right? Yep. Awesome. Absolutely. 730. Can't wait. Can't wait. So I promise you decent weather. What do you think? Perfect. Not you perfect, through. But it's okay. No, it's great. No rain. That's the matter. <laughs> it really feels like October. Go ahead and look at some of these numbers. We're in the 60s right now. So normal high this time of year is 68. So right where we should be for this time of year. Obviously a lot of cloud cover too. Let's go ahead and show you the satellite and radar. We're going to stay mostly cloudy, but we do stay dry. So don't get fooled by all the clouds that continue to hang out. We're going to be fighting these clouds most of the weekend too. Let's get into your future cast. You're going to see kind of cloudy, cool conditions as we start the weekend. Same deal with tomorrow. We may even feel a little mist or drizzle at times as we go through the day tomorrow. And then just the opposite on Sunday, we actually warm things up and we're going to be way above average as we get into the 80s on Sunday. So tonight we'll keep it mostly cloudy and cool down to 58 for the overnight low. So that means kind of a cool start to our weekend as well. Here's your seven day forecast as we get into your Saturday. Look for a mostly cloudy day. Again, a couple of areas could see a little sprinkle or a quick drizzle. 72 for the high tomorrow, then much warmer on Sunday. Remember, it's that warm front that lifts back through. So by uh, Sunday, mostly cloudy, 81. Same deal with Monday, mostly cloudy, 83. Look for some showers Monday night into Tuesday, but notice the temperature doesn't really drop. We stay in the 80s Tuesday, Wednesday, and then look for more rain on Thursday of next week. So it is my honor to be the MC tonight for uh, Light the Night. And uh, it's really cool. You got this great big stage set up for I know. Everybody. Look at just for you, Tom. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you, Tara. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, we're really excited to be part of uh, Light the Night here in Wrightsville and uh, it's a great restaurant inside too just so you know I can say to you all right Tom yes have fun and now CBS 21 news first warning weather with chief meteorologist Tom Russell Yes, and tonight a big night as we help light the night with our friends from the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And check it out, we're right along the river in Wrightsville. The stage getting set for all the festivities tonight, but it really is like a big party here as we got a lot of folks doing a lot of things. We have kids playing games and all this, and I wanted to introduce you to Kim. Yes. And Kim, you're like the Pied Piper. When you come I out, know. kids come I out. I know. All right. <laughs> It's now, one of these everyone. kids belongs to CBS 21. Yes, two of them do. Okay. Yes, these two are Katie's. From Jill D. Smith. Yes, from our own J.D. Smith. Smith. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, Dad. Hi. <laughs> and you have and one of your this own. This is my oldest, Tristan. Hi, Tristan. How are He's you? Nine. Good. All right, we wanted to have Kim on because Kim is a, a cancer survivor. And more than that, when you were diagnosed, you were actually pregnant. I was. I was pregnant with my daughter, Peyton. Um, when we went to go for my blood work for the pregnancy, it came back that my white count was 110,000. That must have been so scary. It was, because at first I didn't even think cancer. I just thought something was wrong with her. I just something was wrong with the baby. Wow. So, um, so, yeah, so we had to go down. We had to get an ultrasound right away, and I think it was like nine weeks eight or nine weeks so i mean she's not even touch go. yeah she's not even formed like so wow, that's yeah scary so you were able to recover and uh, she's doing okay and yep. everybody's good she actually just turned seven september 25th so she's doing very good and very healthy <laughs> and <running around>. <laughs> <laughs> they're everywhere well thank everywhere. you for your story i mean not just not being a, a survivor tonight is about survivors it is yes and it's a powerful it's a very very powerful 
environment, a very powerful setting, um, very uplifting, just to see how many more survivors there are, to see how many more white lanterns there are instead of gold lanterns that we remember that, them. And that's what we do tonight. We light the different color lanterns, and we're going to do it right here at the John Wright Restaurant. And even though your dad's a sports guy, we can, <laughs> we can help you with the weather? Yeah. You want to help me with the weather? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go ahead and show you some temperatures. Jody Smith is jealous right now. Um, let's go ahead and show you some temperatures. Yeah, I'm in charge of his kids. Uh, mid 60s as you look around. You know, it's been cloudy, but we're going to keep it dry. Uh, so temperatures have been on the cooler side today. Let's go ahead and show you the cloud cover. Uh, it's going to be tough to shake. We did see a few breaks here and there today, but uh, the clouds are going to kind of rule the weekend. You guys like clouds? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Boo. All right, here's your future cast. Lots of clouds tomorrow. You guys have a game tomorrow or anything like that? Uh, yeah. You got to play in the clouds? Oh, you have basketball? Basketball. Oh, it's yeah. basketball season. All right. All right, so a little cloudy and cool tomorrow, but then warmer on Sunday as that uh, warm front lifts through. So tonight as we start the weekend, mostly cloudy on the cool side. We'll take it down to 58 for the overnight low. And now let's get to you, our first warning seven-day forecast. We're mostly cloudy again tomorrow on the cooler side, 72 for our Saturday. And then as we get into Sunday, mostly cloudy, a warmer day, up to 81. And then we stay there. Look at this. Monday, mostly cloudy, 83. Look for some showers Monday night into Tuesday. Tuesday, but then we still stay in the 80s. 81 Tuesday, 80 on Wednesday. More rain again Thursday on into Friday. So again, Kim, it was nice to meet you. You like Thank summertime? You. I do like summertime. Thanks so yes. much for sharing your Thank story. You. Tristan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Any guys you want to say to your hi to your dad? He's out at the football game. Say, right there. have a good night at work, Dad. Have a good night at work. <laughs> All right, there they are. I'm in charge of Jill D. Smith's kids. How about that? Back inside of you. You better take good care of them. <laughs> yeah, they're not playing yet. <laughs> Uh, and now, CBS 21 News First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Russell. And it's a big night as CBS 21 teams up with our friends here at the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society for the annual Light the Night Walk. This one's for Lancaster and York. And tonight we're at the John Wright Restaurant. You can see the beautiful river behind us. You can see the big stage all set up for the festivities coming up here just as things turn uh, dark tonight. But I want to introduce you to Matt and Lindsay. And our honored hero tonight is Whitney. She's not going to talk to me, is she? Probably not, no. Very shy. <laughs> I want to make sure you get a good shot of her because she is just beautiful. How old is she? She's four. Four. So, Matt, tell me her story real quick. Uh, Whitney was diagnosed with leukemia when she was uh, about a month shy of her third birthday. And she's been in treatment since. And, uh, and how's she doing? She's doing good. Uh, she's no setbacks and, um, you know, she's doing really well for me. Does treatment. she have any understanding of uh, her illness or anything? Or? No, she doesn't understand it, aside from the fact that she knows she goes to the doctor once a month and has to take right. medicine. So. so tonight you're going to share your story with all the folks here, so thank you so much for being part of this. Yeah. What does tonight mean to you guys as, as folks dealing with this? It, I mean, it means a lot for us. Uh, this is a, an awareness of raising event, and that's what we're here for, and it's also to show our support for everyone that's uh, fighting blood cancer. Awesome. That's so nice to meet your family, and Whitney, thank you for being here. Isn't she great? She's beautiful. Uh, so tonight what will happen is we'll have different colored lanterns depending on if you're uh, uh, remembering someone or if you're a survivor, if you're a fighter like Whitney is. So uh, we got our lanterns. We're getting ready for an exciting night. So at least the weather held out, right? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> that was my job. Let's go ahead and show you some temperatures right now. You know, pretty typical October weather here. A lot of cloud cover uh, and temperatures in the mid-60s. So that's where we stand right now. And we're going to have a hard time shaking those clouds most of the weekend. So let's go ahead and show you the satellite and radar and you'll see that cloud cover pretty much winning out but I can tell you we had a few peaks of sunshine here late in the day in Wrightsville I know we had a little bit in Harrisburg as well so fighting those clouds you'll see that here on the future cast as tomorrow is a mostly cloudy day matter of fact on the cool side much like today and maybe a little bit of a patchy drizzle in spots but uh, we do break out of that a little bit for the second half of the weekend so by the time we get to Sunday much much warmer so it'll be 70s tomorrow and then 80s by Sunday so tonight here's your forecast we keep it mostly cloudy on the cool side but we do keep it dry. So if you've got some plans, you're heading out to some of the football games, we're looking good. Overnight low in the upper 50s. Here's your first warning seven day forecast. Mostly cloudy tomorrow and 72 as we get into Sunday. Mostly cloudy, a warmer day, 81. And then that trend continues warm again on Monday, 83. Look for some showers Monday into Tuesday. Tuesday and Wednesday still in the 80s with another round of showers Thursday of next week. So once again, we're live at the John Wright Center here in Wrightsville. It's a beautiful property. Thanks again to Matt and Lindsay. And and Whitney's so shy. I bet she's not shy at home, is she? Absolutely not. Nope. <laughs> she's the reason we're here tonight, guys, as we're going to beat cancer in a big way. We'll send it back inside.